Uh, hello everyone, I uh, hope you are well. I had a coaching at school today, so I'm just back. I uh, wanted to give a preview for the big uh, South Africa-England match, uh, the Super 8 match that will be played today at 8 o'clock Indian time. And it will be a very big match, obviously, both uh, big teams uh, and uh, both uh, trying to get into the semi-finals. Uh, South Africa and uh, uh, England, I think they have got a very even record in T20 meetings. Uh, but in the World Cups that have played, uh, South Africa have the edge, uh, I think, of winning four out of the six uh, meetings. And the last two World Cups, T20, South Africa have beaten England. One of those matches where people remember Fanta and getting a lot of runs. Uh, I would definitely, I mean, obviously everyone who listens to my video will know that my heart is uh, with South Africa always. And I would definitely want South Africa to win. And I'm also backing South Africa to win today. It won't be an easy match. Uh, because South Africa have had their problems in this World Cup, uh, coming off a very close wins uh, against, against uh, Nepal, uh, against uh, Bangladesh, uh, four runs win, and a lot of many very close uh, wins. And even against USA, it wasn't a clinical win. Uh, but South Africa will be happy that Quinton de Kock is uh, back in form. I mean, the first two, three matches, there were times when South Africa were like 12 for four and 15-20 uh, for four, uh, four wickets uh, gone easily in uh, two matches uh, so South Africa had problems with their uh, top order but uh, last match uh, Quinton de Kock had a good game and I hope uh, Risa Hendricks Markram will come to the fore England obviously had a very good game against uh, West Indies uh, West Indies had got to a really good start and they were unlucky to lose uh, Brandon King but uh, after 10 overs uh, West Indies were placed really well to score in excess of 200 but England really did well especially Adil Rashid who's always been a very good in, good bowler in T20 cricket. And it will be very important how South Africa play Adil Rashid because he doesn't give you a lot of uh, bad balls and he flies the ball and he has a very good googly and he varies his pace and uh, he's a very intelligent bowler in T20s. Even Moeen Ali uh, will be a very good uh, bowler for England in this match because uh, Quinton de Kock with this uh, left hand, is a left-hander and uh, Moeen Ali might bowl against him as well. And even against mid David Miller, probably because it's a left uh, left hander and a right arm off spinner Moin Ali. Moin Ali is also obviously a very destructive batsman, a very useful T20 player, both of them. And uh, Jofra Acha bowled really well. That best in it, that's a critical 16th over, which he gave only four runs. And there were five dot balls, including a wicket of uh, Nicholas Buran. And uh, Full Salt had a very good match, even though he was dropped early, and uh, Josh Butler was okay. Uh, but Phil Salt, uh, let's see how he plays against uh, South Africa. I mean, uh, Phil Salt uh, bat is very unconventional style of batting. And I would expect uh, now, uh, G. Jansen, Norkia, Rabada to bowl well against him. I mean, Josh Butler will be a key as always. Uh, Bairstow also played a very good, good innings against uh, West Indies, so it will be crucial how he plays. And uh, I'm not sure if uh, Mark Wood will still be playing. I think England have been making the wrong choice of uh, playing Mark Wood. I've said many times he just bowls at one pace. Uh, it doesn't vary his pace and uh, for good stroke makers it is obviously better to have a good pace uh, coming on to the bat. I think they will be better off uh, playing Chris Jordan and not Mark Wood. Uh, let's see how it goes. And uh, Topley uh, as a left armor is okay as, as well. So that is uh, England's team. I mean, uh, Liam Livingston, I've always said uh, that I don't uh, understand how he's in the team. But Harry Brook is there sam Curran is there so there's a lot of depth uh, for west Indi english sorry english batting but a lot will depend on a uh, josh butler and here the how the momentum and the rhythm that he gives to the innings uh england can be put under pressure and south africa's team combination will also be important i don't know if shamsi is playing because he went for a lot of runs the other match uh, maharaja has been bowling well he and shamsi probably will play i don't know and then there's nokia rabada jansen uh, I don't think Bartman will play, I'm not sure. So, there are the options. Markram can bowl a few off spinners if he wants. Uh, and uh, batting wise, Risa Hendricks, Quinton de Kock, uh, Klaas, and obviously would be a very key factor against the spin of Adil Rashid and Moen uh, Lee. Uh, Klaas is one of the better spin uh, players of spin in the South African team, and he can really attack a spin at, at, at will. He's one of the most uh, destructive uh, batsmen against uh, spin, so that will be a very important uh, matchup. And David Miller has been very good in this World Cup. A couple of matches uh, in South Africa were in real trouble. David Miller got them out of uh, jail. And uh, it will be important how David Miller bats as well. So it will be a very close contest. There is nothing much to t uh, choose between the both, both teams. I mean, both uh, coming off uh, shabby performances in a way. I mean, South Africa are unbeaten in this World Cup. But South Africa had around three scratchy matches that could have gone other way. And I, would, I was saying to my South African friends that normally in World Cup matches, these kind of matches...
South Africa tend to lose and don't have luck with them. So maybe for a change, like I predicted before the World Cup, maybe this is South Africa's World Cup where they do have some fortune uh, going in their way, unlike the other World Cup. So let's see how if South Africa can capitalize on that and really make it their World Cup and peak at the right time. I mean, 96-99, South Africa had excellent uh, teams at the 50 over World Cup and everyone expected South Africa to win. But South Africa maybe peaked uh, too early and at the uh, knockout stages uh, were found wanting. So maybe South Africa are slowly peaking at the right time. Batting also coming to the fore. Where they had problems with the opening a uh, uh, few bats. From, but Quinton de Kock really got some runs last match. So it's important how Risa Hendricks, the number two, three, four bats from bat. South Africa have a very good middle order with uh, Klaas and David Miller. But uh, it's important how the top order bats. And it's important how Jofra Archer will be bowling and especially Adil Rashid and Moin Ali against South African batsmen. That will be a very key matchup in this uh, match. Uh, and also South Africa's fast bowlers against the English top order because they always uh, like to go for their shots in South Africa. But they have extra pace and they are intelligent as well bowlers. So it will be a very, very good match, a fantastic match, I believe. And uh, definitely my heart is with South Africa. And I'm all, and also backing uh, South Africa to win. Uh, South Africa, I think, will come good in this match. I just have a feeling they are ready to fire. So good luck to South Africa, and I uh, hope uh, South Africa have a very good match. Uh, take care, everyone. Uh, God bless you. Enjoy the match.